Welcome to Soft Review. Today we are going to install a Bold dot DIY, which is an open source project from the same team that runs this Bold dot EO. If you are not familiar with this, is like a website where you can just give it a prompt and you can build anything that you want. Just give it like a for example. Let me show you. Uh, please create a snake gym. Once you give this command, it will instantly start working on this. And as you can see, everything is happening automatically. You All you have to do is, you just need to give a prompt and it will code everything automatically for you. This is what it does. And mind you, this is not free. You have certain restrictions. I will show you what the restrictions are. If you go to the pricing here, it's, it's we can only upload one MP file. And there is also like a token limit of 200k tokens per day. So if so, as you can see now, the game is already ready. So that's how fast I am just moving my arrow key and it produced like a game. So it's this is what it does. And I would definitely recommend people who are new to like development, test this out, learn how to work with this. And this will be a good starting point if you want to learn how to code or Play with coding and why this stands out is because as you can see you can directly export it open in stack and you can connect it to superbase and you can directly deploy it without any help from anyone else there it used to take a lot of time in order to actually do actual deployment but if you are if you can press some buttons now everything is done for you so that's why this is really powerful and if you don't want to this monthly fees then you can definitely do this on your local Windows machine. This is the same team behind, as you can see, it's Stagnets. And this is by Stagnets as well. Now that's done. Now let's see how we can actually install this in our local machine. The main reason why I really like it because it can connect to a lot of LLMs. Here, as you can see in the Windows browser, you cannot uh, change the LLM. You only have the option to upload a but here you can play with all the LLMs and it works directly inside your local uh, machine. Uh, so things are secure and you don't have to worry about any data leaks or anything like that. So well, that's the advantage of it. And it's easy to use for anyone uh, who is starting with coding and uh, the website development or any software development. This is the best place to start. Now let's look at how we can install this on our machine. Uh, you need to go to this website where it uh, says git-stm.com and uh, since I am using Windows, I will be uh, using this one, 64-bit uh, Windows setup. So just download it and it will be downloaded to your local machine and then just follow the installation instruction. Then uh, you need to come to this website, node.js.org and just come to the, click on this download button and just click on Windows installer.msi and once that's downloaded, you can just double click and open it. Once you have it, just click on uh, next and click on install. And this will install the Node.js for uh, in our system. And you just wait for the installation to finish. Just click on yes icon. That will open up that options. Then we need to install our packet manager, npm. So use this command, npm install iPhone G and PNPM. Uh, you can follow along with me. Uh, I will be having all these commands in a separate post so that it's easy to follow. So it's saying that a new version is available. So we just need to use this command. We can follow that command. And finally, in order to check the uh, version, we can do this. And as you can see, we have the latest. So as you can see, there is no folder as of now. So we have to go back to the terminal. And you, if you notice it, you can see that we are in our root section. But we want to navigate to here, this folder. So for that, we need to use this command. As you can see, it's the exact path from there. All we have to add is like CD. And just press on enter. Now, as you can see, it's in the correct directory. This is where the installation will happen. And for the cloning, this is why we already installed for the command to work. So what we are doing right now is cloning this file, cloning this URL directly on these files. 
as you can see, to our local machine. And that's what's happening right now. So once, when I press enter, if you notice, so you can see that it's downloading all those files to my local machine. And if I just open my local machine, you can see we have the bolted file. So also remember that we are still in this GitHub. Now that we have the new directory, we have to move there, right? So in order to do that, you just add like cd, the directory name, and that's uh, bolt.diy. So in order to make sure, you can just copy this and paste it here. And yeah, uh, if you just enter, you can see we are in this correct directory right now. As you can see, the terminal is also here. Now we need to set up our project here. So for that, we need to use this command for the package manager for installation. And as you can see, it's downloading all the files. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, it's done. Now let's just minimize this. And uh, we need to add like our, our API key. As you can see, it supports a lot of API keys. Uh, you can even get it Grok, Hugging Face API key, Anthropic API key, Open Router, Google Generative, Olama, OpenAI, DeepSeek. What I can do right now is I'll show you one more thing. We can get Grok API key for free. All we have to do is go to Grok's AI inference. So yeah, you, if you come here, you can just, you, you just click on the developer, then just click on free API key. And once you are here, click here and the API key and just click on create API key. And then just give it a name or a sample board dot the DIY consult. And here you will have your API key. All you have to do is just paste it here, just like that. And then, then if you want, you can add hugging face. Then what I'll do is I'll definitely recommend you add the open router API key. It ha it also has got a lot of models. You can also use Google API key. From where you can get is you need to go to uh, a studio dot google dot com. And uh, then just click on get API key and uh, just click on create API key, select one project and we can just copy this code, open your ENV and come and paste it here. And that's it. We have enough to just get started. I hope you understand, right? If you want videos for this, how to get hugging face or uh, open API, API key or all those API keys, you can follow that video. Once you have all your API keys, just save it, save as, and just give it, rename it like this dot env dot local and select this, select to all types. Then just click on save and now we should have the our local file here dot env local file now as you can see we have our example file here if you want you can just delete it and we can make changes in the future here as well if you want to add any api key we can also do that in the ui itself that's also another option but if you do it here in the dot env dot local file it will be preserved for every like opening and closing so you don't have to worry about that as well. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to go in and uh, input your API key whenever you open Bolt DIY. Finally, all you have to do is just click on, come back to our terminal here and just run this command npm run dot dev and uh, that will start our Bolt dot DIY. And as you can see now, we have it opened in our local browser. And as you can see, this is, uh, this is now accessible here in our local browser. Okay. As you can see, you can see the local post and the bot here. So we have successfully installed it. And now we have the option to import folder from GitHub repo and import chat as well. So that's uh, really cool about this. So. Yeah, if you just click here, look at this huge list. So we have already our Grok API, as you can see, 
if our in env file is saved correctly then it will be like refilled and now that means uh, it's connected correctly and we have all these versions here and we also have our gobu connected as you can see we have all the supported models so let's just test it out here okay now to show you how this works i want you to create a chess game okay so you can see everything is running locally and we can now create anything that we want so if there is any issue you can also ask Volt to fix that why is it not running maybe it's because of Gemini flash I'll try this one create a chess game for me this is complicated that How do I run this game? So it says I just need to run this command. Nothing is happening. See, that's how you go and forth mm -hmm. and that what you want yeah we have our chess game ready recipe so you have your chess game uh, you can also switch to responsive or change like that different uh, preview modes can make it full screen and then open it in mobile review uh, these are all the options that you have you can download the code toggle to terminal even uh, pushing to github so um, yeah that's how you use uh, ball.diy and i have already uh, i can even use it with the uh, straco uh, if you already have straco uh, yeah uh, that's also possible uh, and uh, if you have the lifetime deal you can uh, use the api key and you can build it without worrying about the any actual api cost if you want to add all the other providers, go to their website and get, get their API key. I would also recommend Open Rundle because they also have a lot of free models like DC Google models. So if something is not working correctly, as you can see, switching the actual model can make a difference because some models might not be like really good at coding. If you want to code, I will definitely urge you to use 3.5 on it or like O3 Mini or if you want you can also use deep seek models if you just hover over here you can also see our history chat history and you can also play with the dark and the light mode as well and here if you click on the settings this you can have more settings you can have the api key you can manage your api keys you can enable or disable like all the providers that you want and there is like lm studio or llama and also if it says the API documentation says that it supports OpenAI, then you can use all those other providers here as well. So really cool, really great way to start your coding uh, journey. I hope uh, this will be helpful. And let me show you the issue with this actually is, for example, if I am trying to upload line, see, connect a folder with fewer than 1000 files. I also wanted to show you there is like a limit to the number of files that it can manage. So the limit is like 1000 files. So uh, be sure to uh, have something that's smaller. The number of files should not be more than 1000 in order to work with this specific extension. And that's something that uh, nobody tells you. So I had to figure it out like the hard way. If I close this terminal, Will this vault.diy work? If you have closed this file and if you want to actually open it again very fast, there is like a trick without actually going to the command prompt and typing all those things. You can use like something called Windows batch file, which will have this extension dot bat that we need to create it in our uh, root folder. For that, you all you have to do is right click, then click on new and uh, text document. 
just paste that paste this code here and make sure that you have changed your to your name this is a uh, command for the powershell so if you are using command prompt then i will give you like another code that will be in the website so yeah choose it accordingly and save it as something that we can understand like this start bolt diy dot uh, ps1 powershell command uh, and just type in yes and that should save our file here so if i just click if i just click on run with powershell you should see and that this file is open here in our local host and now we have opened it just like this so one thing to note is that uh, if you don't see your key right away when you first start it just uh, click on the refresh button and that will set the uh, api key correctly for you and another thing if you just open a tab if i am actually closing this terminal and if you open the same uh, local host you will not see it right as you can see i just closed the terminal also remember that the terminal needs to be opened for this to work so keep it open and just minimize it and if you want to start it again just click and right click and click on run with powershell and you will have your file uh, set up and running just like this so if you want to send it to your desktop then you can send it like create like a shortcut and you can just open it like a regular app see so if you have already installed vs code and it's taking it's just opening it in vs code you can just come here and do this change this to powershell and set it as default and just click on apply and click on ok now that it will uh, use powershell for opening this you can do the same for command prompt as well so i'm just showing you if i just double click again as you can see now we have the setup actually running and it's open in our local post just like this now by the end of this video i hope everyone of you have your bolt.diy installed in your local system as you can see it's really powerful to create apps and games and anything that you want it's up to your imagination and the power of the AI model that you use that's the only limitations now if you like it please don't forget to share and subscribe and i will have the detailed instruction you can just copy paste these instructions and just follow this video in order to actually install it on your system yeah again thank you for watching and have a great day